Hi, this week's weekly roundup is Christmas themed. Okay, it seemed like a good idea on paper. Whose place is this? Looks like a few people haven't taken holidays on Kickstarter this week. In need of a bucket load of IO options, this board seems to have them all. Contains an RS-485, thermocouple inputs, RTC, battery backup and four-stepper motor drivers. GPIOs are also protected by opto-isolation and can accept up to 24 volts. It's expensive as it seems to have a lot on it. If your project is going to be permanently outside, then this module might be the thing. It powers your Pi Zero, charges batteries from a solar panel and monitors battery consumption and state. It's a pretty good package that fits nicely on the Pi Zero. The Flex R is not really a maker product, but interesting in its hackability worthiness, and also a cool idea. The guy has combined muscle sensors with a small Bluetooth device that can be used for things like physio rehab or fitness. He has also introduced gamification, so, guaranteed, people are going to do their physio exercises. <coughs> Reminds me, I should do mine. Cubic is another non-maker product that might be hackable. It's yet another wireless IoT device that is small enough to be attached to stuff and measures temperature, humidity, light and motion. It's Wi-Fi based, so it'll be interesting to see what the onboard 500mAh battery life is on these things. They've come up with a fairly complete package that might be a winner. If you're a muser like me, you might like this. The Gecko Loop Synth is a tiny analog synth that has some unusual control methods. There's two microphones which you can use as a general control input as well as audio input, infrared, magnometer and ranging sensors. Pretty cool stuff. And then there's Ants, which is a semi-modular synth. Plug your MIDI keyboard in, attach your amp and power it up. It's sort of a hybrid digital and analog synth in one. Pretty cool. Shame I'm just a drummer and not a keyboardist. And Indiegogo is a no-go. And CrowdSupply has only one interesting thing. Ta-da! The Winkle board is now live on CrowdSupply and seems to be ramping up to its goal very fast. We took a look at this in last week's roundup, but for those who missed out, it contains an AppMega128 MCU and a bucket load of extras like ESP12 Wi-Fi, NRF24 Radio, DS3231 RTC, HC05 Bluetooth and MPU6065 IMU. The good thing about all this is the price. You get all that for around $24 US if you're in early. Nice. I'll have to pick one up and review it. Meanwhile, back at the Tindy Ranch... T- Tindy Ranch? Come on. Why Tindy Ranch? This small 1 amp switch mode power supply was, I think, the same one as the successful Kickstarter some time ago. It's a drop-in replacement for a standard 7805 regulator and provides up to 6 volts from 4.5 to 17 volt input. Localino is a way of providing accurate indoor positioning. It's based on the DecaWave UWB transceiver and able to get down to 100mm resolution. Pretty good considering. You will of course need three of these expensive anchors and the tags are relatively cheaper, but a great product if you need accurate indoor positioning. This is yet another Teensy 3.5-3.6 breakout board, but this one is capable of breaking out those surface mount pads that you normally can't reach under the Teensy. Did you miss the Hackaday Super Conference? Well, you can pick up your very own 2016 Hackaday Super Conference badge. They seem to have a few left over. This E2424 board is basically a keyboard encoder. The creator has actually built it from a Silicon Labs 8051 MCU from the ground up. You do realise it's 40 degrees outside and I'm blazing hot in this thing. Arrow Electronics will have the new Connexent DS20921 in soon which is a development board created between Amazon and Connexent to bring Alexa voice services deeper into the maker space. Combined with multiple microphones, it can isolate a single voice amongst background noise and process and analyse the commands. ST recently launched their sensor tile module, which is a tiny PCB with onboard Cortex M4F, Bluetooth, 9DOF, IMU, pressure and MEMS mic. DigiKey now have a development kit for that, and so do Mouser. If you're still in a country with working GSM towers, then you can pick up a Rephone from Seed, which was a Kickstarter a while back. Comes with a SAM D21 MCU and the usual low power SIM 800 GSM module. Another Raspberry Pi expansion board. This Seed version has one wire interfaces, infrared, RTC, DACs, ADCs, pressure sensors, OLED, plus others. 
cheaper than getting all those individually. You've been putting off building that main cabin, haven't you? Well, put it off no longer. This kit includes everything you need to beat your high score in Space Invaders again. Uh, except, of course, you'll still need a Pi. And this new Adafruit board gives you a stereo amplified output from an I2S interface. A nice all-in-one option that is compatible with any of the Pi modules. In fact, also Arduino. Bitolino is a development kit for health sensors. It contains an Atmega328 at its core and 14 removable blocks that contain Bluetooth, lights, buttons and buzzers, as well as light, electrocardiogram, electromyography and also motion sensors. That'll get your heart racing. Then there's a Modulo Invention Kit, which contains a particle photon module and other sensors to get you coding up on your next robotics project. Over at DF Robot, they have their Romeo BLE Quad, which is a board containing an STM32 ARM MCU, a Bluno M3, and four H-bridges capable of driving your average garden variety DC motors, all powered from a 7 to 10 volt supply. Heard of the Thunderboard Sense? It's a small IoT board containing the Gecko EFR32 Wi-Fi module, which is similar to the ESP8266, but contains a MEMS microphone, UV, light, gas, motion, pressure, temperature, and also humidity sensors. And I see you spared no expense on the props. Whose place is this? Banggood have a cheap Zigbee module based on the CC2530 SOC and a PCB aerial, so it won't go as far as other Zigbee modules, but cheap enough to scatter them around the house. Then a cheap USB to TTL adapter board based on the CP2102. I'm really not sure why they mention wireless in the title, because it certainly doesn't contain any wireless chip. IC Station seems to have gone wireless crazy and have a bucket load of cheap modules, as well as pressure sensors capable of measuring up to 500 kilopascals. Thanks for watching this week's weekly roundup. As always, links are in the description below and also on my website. Don't forget you can always subscribe and follow me by clicking on any on-screen icons. So thanks for watching and see you next week. Hello? Hello? Can someone get me out of here please? Hello? Hello?